no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity, coming to you live from the NATO protest in Chicago some people want to know why protest NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization consisting of 28 member states and 22 other countries all coming together for the quote, partnership of peace. Unfortunately, this partnership requires a shitload of bombing to achieve peace. We'd be dropping our peace bombs all up and down this bitch. That's like telling a girl you want to have sex with her with your virginity cock. You can't create virginity or peace by fucking people. Let's think about the reasons given to go to war. One is to bring about peace, but clearly these wars aren't achieving that because we see nearly endless battling in Afghanistan and Iraq and countless other conflicts and targeted bombings around the world. These wars have brought as much peace to the world as Mitt Romney has brought honesty to politics or as much as the sitcom The Big Bang Theory has brought an enhanced understanding of The Big Bang Theory. So what else then? Well, we're told war is to stop terrorists, but when you kill somewhere between 10 and 100 civilians every time you try to kill a terrorist, you just create terrorists out of the people who were previously fucking fruit vendors. And look, perhaps the guy didn't have the best fruit, alright? Perhaps his melons were a bit soft, maybe his pomegranates were dry, but still, I think the world is better off with a mealy fruit vendor than an underwear bomber. Well, if not for those reasons, and how about for money? War for treasure, right? But the problem is it only makes money for a select few individuals and contractors, Boeing and Halliburton, KBR and Blackwater. And I know it's, it's, it's not called Blackwater anymore. They changed their name to a fucking symbol. I think it's the same symbol as Prince. Their motto is good luck prosecuting a symbol for war crimes. Even if you succeed, the paperwork's gonna be fucking hell. So while these corporations make money, America goes bankrupt. Well, at the very least, war trains young men and women how to be brave and smart, upstanding citizens with productive lives after they get out of the service. But, uh, there's a little problem with that. For every soldier who dies in battle, 25 veterans kill themselves, and an unimaginable number of others can't go back to anything resembling a normal life. So why did thousands of people march in Chicago to stop these wars? Why did dozens of U.S. military veterans throw their Medals of Honor back in disgust? Why are protesters willing to get beaten and arrested, maimed and accosted to stop this death and destruction? Here's an idea. How about you give us a good reason why not? That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net, coming to you from the NATO protests in Chicago, where we see that Americans have the freedom to peaceably, uh, um, well, uh, hi, uh, freedom of speech, um, are, are, are you guys here, here for the protests? There's, there's a face painting station over by the food not bombs table if you no oh, okay okay do, do you got you guys like angry birds I have angry birds on my phone and, no oh, all right. God bless America oh sorry I don't know I couldn't tell I'll say on the phone my kind of town.